So my, my next guest today is Don Dennison. Uh, he's just freshly off of winning a Global Technology Award. Uh, welcome, Don, and uh, congratulations. You, yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, it's my third year in a row. And, right. Uh, it's starting to uh, have some effect on my business a little bit here. Well, I, I would say it must do. Yeah, I mean, you, you seem to be quite prolific. You're everywhere these days, you know, uh, and you also follow a lot of new technologies that come into the industry. Absolutely. Uh, so, um, so tell us some of the new stuff you've been working on. So I'm, I'm working on a new project now. Um, I've, I've been working for about five years on labeling mm -hmm. and incorporating the, the process of labeling PC boards. And uh, it... it I must say it's been a struggle. Right. Um, so my, my What is it people don't like about labels? So that, labels are tough because um, they have to go through a, a heat thermal process. They have to go through a cleaning process, sometimes with chemistry. And, you know, we, we've got to buy special labels. We've got to print labels on special polyimid paper and polyimid uh, labels. That It's just a challenge. And then we have to take these pre-printed labels, put them on a reel, and then put them on our placement machines and get space. them onto the board. It takes up space, takes up time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we've come to the conclusion now that laser is probably the way to go. It's the right. fastest way. The, the problem, laser's been around for quite a while. It has, it has, yeah. but it's been very expensive. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to incorporate lasers now uh, into the process at an affordable rate. Um, and the soft make the software intuitive so it's easy for our line operators to operate the system. Mm -hmm. And then we need to track, right? Track these boards and these labels as they go through through the process. So we we think we've come with come up with a solution that's probably about a third of the price of what the, the high end lasers used to be. Okay. And uh, we're going to try and and make a run at it and put some machines in and. See if they get some use. Right. So the ROI is quite quite fast. They're fast. Um, they're affordable, mm -hmm. and uh, we've just got to put it into use now and, and okay. get some installs. So let's talk a little bit about the process itself. Um, um, you, you know, when we spoke off camera before we started, you said you were getting down to about uh, five millimeter square. Uh, uh, so, so that's the input that I've been getting from a lot of my clients. They, they want to do a five mil square QR code. They want to do date codes. They want to do serial codes. Right. Um, and they have to be readable, okay? They have to be readable at a high rate of speed. If, mm -hmm. if you're building a panel that's, let's say, 50 up and you have 50 QR codes on, on the board, you have to be able to read it quickly. Right. Uh, you don't want it to be, you know, the bottleneck in your process. Right. So... I think we found a solution for it, and we're going to move forward with it. Really? So is this, is this, a, is this a laser source, or is it, is it actually a, a machine that's going to, is, that can do the, you know, the, the, the laser scribing? It's uh, a laser machine for printing QR codes, yes. Right, it is. Yep. Okay. And the idea is going to be that you, the, the, the little box is currently used for where you would place the label. You're going to, you're going to etch inside that. Correct. Yep. Okay. And uh, we've had some good results. We've printed some small QR codes. Mm -hmm. They are readable. And uh, now it's just going to be getting it out there and put it to some use. And right. Uh, so I believe you've got some orders already. Yeah. We do. We do. <laughs> so uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Mm -hmm. um, so now we just have to produce that finished product. Okay. Has it got a name? Not yet. No, yeah. No. But okay. we'll announce it soon. I, I suspect that uh, by Apex you may see something. Okay, great. Well, that's exciting. Um, something new uh, and something yep. innovative. And, and presumably something you're going to put in, you're going to do at the beginning of the process rather than sort of... Correct. Well, you, you, my smaller contract manufacturers may use it as a batch system. Mm -hmm. um, companies that have multiple lines may only want to buy one and, and run their boards in batch. Other companies will put... Um, units into each of their lines and make it part of their process right so it it'll be flexible enough where you can do either but the fact is if you if you can get that barcode into the beginning of the process then you can use it as a uh, a tool uh, to check the process as it goes down correct and that's the that's the goal we're trying to achieve at right. this point because um that's yet to be tested i think so yeah. there's very few companies that can afford the expensive laser systems and put them in place well, sounds interesting, Don. We wish you every every success with it. And uh, thank you. 
you know, uh, congratulations again on winning the Global Technology Award, and yep. thank you for coming in today. Yep, thank you.